What's up, folks, with nothing better to do? This is your boy, Zilla Valentine, and you're watching Extra Butter. Today, I sat down with the cast of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That's kind of why I'm in the middle of a jungle right now, talking to you. But while you guys are sitting here watching, check out my interviews, and I hope you enjoy it. I know this is a movie, right? I know how movies work. Mm -hmm. How? You like, you're not really <laughs> Quill. Like, you know, like, oh, but, got it. but I'm still a little bit upset because we lost Black Panther because of you, man. If you just would have. But was it, wasn't it Thanos? Yeah, but we could have beat Thanos if it wasn't. I'm upset. But hey, man, I don't listen, know if I can listen, forgive you, listen, bro. I'm with you. I can't. I, I'm with you, man. <laughs> you I, can't stand yourself. Either. I can't. No, I, I love myself. But I'm a little mad. At, I'm a little mad at Peter Quill right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like That's that Kanye up. song. Like I love myself, but I. And I love my. I thought about killing myself. Yeah. So I definitely thought about killing you. I just, <laughs> dude, timing. Anyway. <laughs> Threat? Did the threat just happen? Yeah, I think so. Did you threaten his was. life? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right now. <laughs> Jurassic World, so great. How does it feel to come back for a second time around? Oh, it feels so good, man. That's so great. Being here in Hawaii, you know, right where we shot the movie, ta you know, we're thrilled with how it turned out. It feels good to be back, and it's, it's really a pleasure to be out there talking about a movie that you're really proud of, and uh, I think people are going to be... I think people are going to be pretty excited about this movie. Yeah. It certainly doesn't suck to shoot a movie in a vacation destination. Yeah, what's up? That is very, that's very true. It's very <laughs> yes, true. Yes. Yeah. Um, this time around, you have on comfortable shoes. I do. That mm. must have been refreshing. Well, yeah. I mean, it uh, It actually legitimately, when running around these hills, it, it, uh, I, I could have a little bit of a compare and contrast, because I did run around these hills. In, in these hills in heels and then also in boots, and um, yeah. it's easier in boots. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Uh, not the, a large portion, portion of this Jurassic World takes place indoors. Mm -hmm. How different was that from filming outside? I mean, hugely different. Yeah, hugely different. I think that the, uh, there's a sense of sort of claustrophobic, terrifying confinement of the final act of this film. J.A. Bayona, our director, made a film called The Orphanage. And he's also done, a, 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 he has a great body of work, but one, the, that was one of the films that really, you can see it's his style. It's a sort of gothic, almost horror twist. And uh, it's different. It's a new direction for Jurassic. And at the end, you'll see it opens up the possibility of really expanding this, this franchise into, I mean, the possibilities are kind of limitless. Yeah. Um, but it felt pretty cool. It was like, you don't, that's the, th that's the thing with the sequel. You don't want to just go back and play the greatest hits, you yeah. know, because the movie of the the park going wrong, it's happened four times, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, like, audiences, <laughs> they, 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 they know what they love about Jurassic movies, and they're going to get it yeah. in this movie, but it's, it's going to be a little unexpected and something a little bit different than what you might expect. Yeah. This is Jurassic World, but the world of, it's still the Jurassic Park world to me, right? right. So that world of Jurassic Park, how do you rank that with other worlds, like the world of John Wick, or the Marvel world, or the world oh, of all those other movies? Where do you rank this world, well, this, this universe? Is, this is a very grounded universe. I mean, the whole kind of right. point of this, of this franchise is to imagine what if human beings and dinosaurs coexisted. Right. And at, at every turn, it was so important to make super grounded choices so that the only thing that, that audiences had to sort of like suspend disbelief was the fact that dinosaurs existed. Whereas, you know, the Marvel world is obviously, it's a, it's a fantastical world. Right. And I think that, you know, we're only, you're only seeing just the very touch, the very bit of, poten uh, of, this, of what this world could be. You know, you're just getting a taste for the potential towards the end of this film. Yeah. And uh, I think it, it, when it's with the right filmmakers and, and if fans are, still remain passionate about the franchise, I think the world could marvel any of those any of those worlds out there. I think so too, the, the seeds were definitely planted. Yeah, so for congrats, real. Congrats, congrats. Yeah. There you have it folks, your boy Zilla Valentine, Extra Butter. Be sure to go check out Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in theaters June 22nd. It's a good movie, you might, you might like it, you might like it. Bring a girl, bring a guy, bring whoever you love. I'm not judging, just bring somebody and go see it. Till next time, peace.